Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast here live at YCS Sydney. Jake's kept his monotone uh, monotone voice for this whole thing, but we are here at Accor Stadium, uh, ready for YCS Sydney. Uh, we are not too far away. We're about an hour from start. It's getting close. Let's get it. Jake's not used to presenting standing up. We'll see you from inside the venue. Okay, I am here uh, post round one with Leo. Uh, we're out of there in a good 15 minutes, yeah. which is always good. So, uh, how'd your round one go? Uh, it went pretty well. I versed uh, Yumi Control, and even though I never faced it, uh, I didn't know how to play against it. It was pretty easy just with hand traps. Yeah, it, it's just Yumi Control. Yeah, isn't Yumi it? Control. You, you get rid of the water monsters yeah, exactly. on field, and the, exactly. the game's over. Exactly. Just like, negate the one that switches matter. Yumi, and that's it. Yeah, um, I had a mirror. And I just opened good hand traps and he opened bad ones. So <laughs> it was a pretty easy win. I kind of felt That's bad. how it goes in this meta. Yeah. yeah. Let's, hopefully the day can continue because my hands <laughs> were broken in it's, both it's, games. It's nine rounds. Uh, it's 922 players. Yep. With some damage prize cards if you drop. Yeah. Or damage giant cards. Hopefully they'll replace them. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see as, as the round goes on with your uh, Krispy Kreme post-game reports <laughs> as we go. <laughs> see ya. Okay, and we're back with our round two Krispy Kreme post-game report. Uh, I am here with Jake this time. Hello. Uh, we're still both 2-0. So, still doing uh, both we're still very well. Yeah, we're doing fine. How was your matchup then? Um, my matchup was good. It was uh, Cash Speedroid, uh, average MBT enjoyer type deck. Um, uh, game one, I hit a super poly to get rid of the negate. Um, game two, um, he like hit, I think, two imperms on my starting board, which was not great. Uh, but then I Nibiru'd his entire board on his turn, ah, so yes. that was great. Uh, and then just uh, standard fusioning things. Then game three, he bricked real bad, just had nothing. And I drawn the one of card that I used for thrust target. <laughs> so I was like, oh cool, I just get to do this again next turn. <laughs> I uh, I played a lovely gentleman from Sweden. He was great. Um, I probably shouldn't have won that match. I misplayed quite badly game one and game two. Um, the joys of playing Snake Eyes. Yeah, e- Econ just like won me the game, game two. Um, so already was worth keeping in my side deck. Spoiler alert, it's in there. Uh, and in game three, I just had the two hand traps that stopped him. But one of them was Warner, so he took 2,500 damage. And then I played through his three hand traps and killed him. Um, yeah, nice guy. Really nice guy. But I probably shouldn't have won that game, and I kind of feel bad about it. Because he's travelled all this way and then had to play against me, who misplayed and still won. Uh, ben Nolan, the ruiner of dreams, the destroyer of travel. Jake's leaning hard into a mic to pop it, but we'll see you after round two. Ah! Three. Perfect. I am here after round three of uh, crushing defeat for both of us. Here with Jesse. Um, yeah, how was your round three? Uh, round three sucked. There's a voiceless voice build that is just turboing out summon limit, uh, <laughs> protecting it with cross out. Uh, called by uh, their Omni Negate uh, and then they just flip Summon Limit and pop both your monsters with the trap so it's pretty toxic. Uh, that happened twice. He opened Call by uh, two games in a row in a 45 card deck. Uh, I'm not sure on the maths on that one but <laughs> he also opened Summon Limit twice. We'll run the numbers on it and we'll I'm not going to run the numbers and put it on the screen. I was going to joke about that. I'm not going to do it. I'm too lazy for that. That was your round um, three. I decided to lose on table one. Uh, this man took a photo of me in my exact moment of defeat. Which will be right here. That I have just put up. Uh, so yeah, the dream is over. We're no longer XO. Uh, we're now X1. Sad times. Only down from here. I will see you next round and I will beat you with Cash Terra. We will there indeed pair then. And we are back for uh, maybe our last Krispy Kreme report. Yeah, last Krispy Kreme report here in uh, Accor Stadium. Uh, we are all out of the creams. Did you have any creams earlier? Uh, no, in fact, we never had any cream. The creamy goodness was not even here from the start. Look, that is a very good summation for today. Yeah. There was no creamy goodness. I had some creamy goodness, but it wasn't here. No, it was over there. In <laughs> uh, yeah, Bragg, how was your day? Uh, started off really well. I uh, was started off on a good run, had some good games, and just uh, round five, six, just brain fart, misplayed against Cash, beat me in the ground, and kicked me out of the tournament. Pretty disappointed in myself, to be honest. Okay. 
I, yeah, Mane was also not too bad. Um, at the end, I also was eventually eliminated by Cash. Yeah. Because uh, I didn't pay attention to the time. I thought we saw like five minutes left, and then I heard the time of the round call, and I was like, huh. I could have just attacked for game here. It said I was in the middle of my combo. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Uh, Gotta keep an eye on the clock. Yeah. If, if you're in the Legends room, you wouldn't have that problem. I was like down by 200 and was like, uh, just doing my combo, doing my combo, ready to go for game. Should we like, still have call-outs for how much time is left? I should have just been paying attention. Look, you could like, be paying attention, but I think I would appreciate the drama from 10 minutes, 5 minutes, it, it and does, count. It does create like a, a bit of tension in the room. Count but, uh, from 20. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, thoughts on the meta here? Like, it, seemed, it was pretty much what we expected. I, I personally really like the pure Snake Eyes mirror. Um, it's, it gives so me, far. It gives me zoo vibes. Yeah, it's um, a nice back and forward. I don't really know how to get the advantage in the Snake Eyes mirror, so maybe that's why I'm not as keen on it as you are. Yep. You but, just kind of blow through them. Yeah. You, you, you pick off the right points and, and it does the job. Yeah. Otherwise, deck is really, really solid. It can just find OTKs yeah. and just seal the deal. Unless you're under shifter. I was only shifted four times today. I was shifted once, and it was in the game three of the cash match. Yeah. And I went pass, and he went pass. And I was like, okay, here we go. Um, but yeah, that's where we were. Uh, Tom, you want to come up to the, the creamy goodness stand? Welcome. You can As see he walks no, in front of the, the camera. Shifter socks. Band the car. <laughs> Wait, this I man believe he was probably shifted. shifted. How many times have you shifted today? Too many. In three rounds. <laughs> Too many shifters in three rounds. I got shifted once. I even like cut my opponent's deck and went, I wish you merry shifter. And he was like, thank you. Here's my shifter. <laughs> I got shifted four times in three I got shifted four times in three rounds. <laughs> Look, that's just the way it be here in Sydney. Uh... I'm, it's a pretty positive vibe as well. Did you talk about the tournament with Leo earlier? Uh, we, uh, it was only just round one. Oh. Uh, we haven't no. done like a full tournament recap. It's, it's been good. It's been good. It's, Let's see how we go it's tomorrow. Nice. I can't complain about this. No, it's, I mean, we're, st we're not done yet. This is, we're, we're still the, round seven? Quarter past six. Uh, we're in round eight. 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 We're currently in round eight. One more to go. They just fly. Um, I just didn't want to keep playing through the day. I could have kept going. Uh, Could you? Like, uh, I now nah, my brain just my brain just collapsed in on itself. It was something to behold. Like I'm like, oh, I'm activating Ash and then grabbing IP from my deck, thinking I'm Link summoning. Yeah. And my opponent's looking at me like, well, you said activate Ash. I'm like, well, I've done this now, so I guess it's had that. And like, oh no, you used your Oak in the back row. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I can't do that. Yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> it's just casual. It is Look, <laughs> we are. The fun people at YCS are very much. Uh, the men had the Karibu hat that I, uh, I didn't get because they didn't have enough show bags for everyone. Yeah, I got the show bag opening on the channel right now. On Bragio, go and tune in. No, it's actually on us. It's on our channel as well. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? It's um, um that's the the speed duel deck. Did you get a show bag? Speed yes. duel deck. Do you want to play speed duels? Yeah. We'll just where we go. Normal summon battle locks equipped with deep seated sword. Isn't there like ten cards in it? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's like, it's, it's like half the speed. Duel. I saw you cards in there. You can play in the speed duel comp tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, just what? And they go, no, it's ten cards. You can't well, play. Did you bring your speed duels with you? No. Uh, you you told me during Friday. Yeah. You told you told them way too. Also, late. I don't think anyone else is doing speed duels. Boo. You no could have won the speech. entire speed duel event. Make speed duels great are. again. Uh, again's a strong okay, word. Make speed duels great. Again is a very strong word. Hey, <laughs> um, okay, set one was fun. Oh, set one was great. Yeah. Uh, it's on sale here. That's how great it was. It is on sale. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that will, I guess, wrap us up for our post-game report. Yeah, one yeah um, I mean, we'll see how the Jaker goes. If the Jaker ends today on a high, we might yeah. drag him into the Krispy Kreme zone. Josh, the KKZ. Uh, Josh is still X1 as well. Oh, who knows about that kid? He's currently up towards the front of the room. He's X1. He's one game loss from a flight home. He is a game loss from a flight home. He totally would leave on X2. He would leave on X2. God, sal like, salad, we like, salad making day two 100% makes sense. Yeah. Like, it's just, it can play, it can just play that matchup so well. Unless it were bricks. I hope, I hope we're close enough to the camera that that comes across. Oh, it should. 
It should. Hopefully. We were well lit earlier. I don't know if we're still well lit now. Yeah, it's a bit shady out there. We're nodded with the pretty background. There's the AFL's happening over yeah, here. Yeah, bloody the Collie Wobbles versus GWS playing a crappy sport. This is a better sport, I tell you. Yes, the sport of Yu Gi Oh! Where we don't go out and play onto the. I don't know how many people actually know we're playing inside of a sports venue. Yeah, this is um, second, no, third biggest stadium. No, maybe fourth now because of SFS. No, I think per seat capita it's still the biggest. Yeah. Uh, it's still the second biggest. Like, I'm telling you, we just need to get VR headsets for all 60,000 people get you can. Us out on the field. Yeah, and just run it. We all look at it. We all just have to wear goggles for 90 minutes. Yu Gi Oh! VR coming soon. Please. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> We will see you tomorrow for the podcast if we don't see you again.